everyone, the second day of Europe PCR is about to start. Before we share with you the highlights of this day, I would like to reflect on our recommendations from yesterday. And one of them was to visit the main arena. I was there today this morning and it was really full house. It was packed. The case from Toulouse about the distal left main bifurcation PCI, I really enjoyed it so much that other participants also did in the main arena that really was full. Knowing that, what are the highlights for today, Chris? What do you recommend us? Well, Dejan, day two has got so much to offer. We've got more live cases, we've got more learning. Of course, there's the scientific program. But I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing today, and that's going to be spending the morning in the dedicated simulation room, and I'll be learning all about mastering transeptal puncture. And I'll be learning from the masters, Francesco Mezzano, Pamela Gatto, and their excellent team as they take us all the way through from basic anatomy and then utilize new learning methods like 3D printing to better understand the complex relationships. And then the real highlight is going to be getting hands-on using the transeptal simulators. So in my opinion, it really takes learning to the next level. But a word of warning, like you mentioned in the opening, when these sessions were run at PCR London Valves, there were queues around the block. So my tip is make sure you get there early if you want to get the full exposure to this Mastering Transceptal course. That's my morning, Dejan. How about you? Well, what I do is that I plan to be in Studio A for two sessions, one after the other. The first is a stent failure session and how you can use intracoronary imaging to plan your treatment on st of stent failure cases. And I think that stent failure is a reality that we face and will be facing. And I think understanding the mechanisms of stent failure is the key. And the key to understanding the mechanisms is intracoronary imaging. So I look forward to enjoying the session there. Right after, in Studio A, what's gonna be happening is a session on Inoka. And Inoka is definitely very present in our practice. We have not noticed it maybe for years, but today, we do have tools and techniques to assess patients suspected of Inoka and to perhaps provide tailored treatment. So I do look forward to that session. Chris, what are you going to be doing in the afternoon? So my afternoon is slightly different and I'm going to be attending the big TAVI session which is looking at TAVI and bicuspid anatomy but beyond the standard type 1 left-right configuration. Now, you know this is a hugely challenging cohort complex, risky anatomy, and really it's pushing TAVI as a procedure and often the devices we use right to the limits. It's also a relatively evidence-free zone. And so for me, it's crucial to get that peer-to-peer -peer learning that you can only have at congresses like this. And specifically, I hope to get a better understanding about how to size in this complex bicuspid anatomy, what type of device I should be implanting or considering, and also what my implant technique should be. So Dejan, what's your afternoon pick? Well, you mentioned peer-to-peer -peer learning, and I think it's crucial that we exchange ideas about cases and showcase examples, but it's also essential that we debate trials. We need to interpret the trials, and we need to know whether trials change our practice. So what I would recommend this afternoon is that you visit uh, the session entitled, Will This Trial Change My Practice? And it's going to be about the revived trial, and you remember, revived trial was a randomized trial investigating the effects of PCI, routine PCI, in patients with heart failure. And the overall results were neutral. So the question is whether this changes our practice, whether it pushes us to be more selective when treating patients with chronic coronary syndromes and heart failure. And look, really look forward to the discussion. Overall, this is going to be an interesting day. And I think that it's important to mention one more time that a PCR's Got Talent competition is running throughout the Congress. Round two will be happening on Wednesday, today. And I urge you all to go there and support our colleagues who are in a competition, it's called PCR's Got Talent, and who present their valuable scientific data in a way that enhances communication skills and also the understanding overall of the scientific data. That being said, I think that we can see each other in the hallways in Palais de Congrès today throughout the whole day. Chris, do you have something to add? Nothing to say other than let's get started. See you tomorrow at this place also as well.